how are you guys doing this is my first video of 2020 so hey happy new year to everyone um, before we get into this video please like share and subscribe like the video comment whatever you like to do also hit that notification uh, notification bell button so you can be the first one to get these videos uh, they're gems I'll be dropping gems so you, you want to be the first one to get it uh, also, um, this video, this is story time. Um, so let me just go ahead and get started and get this out the way. Um, on December 30th, like a couple days before, uh, New Year's, I had to get my, um, I had a busy day that day, actually. I had a doctor's appointment, you know, I haven't been to the doctors in like about three months or whatever, so I go get for my checkups and everything like that. And um, also, I had to go renew my license. Two days before New Year's, it was horrible. The line was almost out the door. So it was like an hour, maybe maybe an hour and a half wait to get up, you know, to <clears throat> renew my license. So uh, we get there, of course, and standing in the line. I've been standing, uh, I think I've been standing in the line for about, about 45 minutes. And, um, you know, it's just standing there. Of course, everybody's on their phone. Like I said, it's a lot of people in there. Long line. It's very busy. So, um, all of a sudden, this young girl just fainted. She just passed out. Out of nowhere. Now, she passed out. I'm looking around. It's a lot of people. Nobody moved. Nobody moved for like three seconds. So, of course, me being the person that I am, I went to aid the girl, and when I went to her and tried to, you know what I'm saying, wake her up and everything, she was out of it. Her light, her, her eyes were flickering, and I was asking her name. She didn't know her name or anything, so it was kind of scary. Um, somebody finally came from behind the counter and uh, helped me assist her and everything like that to where she finally started coming to a little bit, but she still couldn't stand up. Um, this went on for about a good five minutes, okay? Um, we were asking her questions, like the guy, he was asking her if she was pregnant, she said no. Um, she, is she on any medication? She said no. Uh, and everything, so um, they got her a chair. We helped her up in the chair with me and the guy uh, behind from behind the desk, okay? Like I said, mind you, it's like, 200 people in here 200 people okay and um so they sit her in the chair and everything like that get her some water and everything so um but they called 911 um it was uh it was kind of scary but she was she was okay as far as you know now she was coherent and everything and she knew what her name was she knew what year it was and everything uh, they called the ambulance and the uh, ambulance checked on her and stuff like that. They actually let her go to the front of the line because if she would have stayed in line, it would have been like another half hour wait, half an hour wait. So they let her go, uh, you know what I'm saying, ahead of everyone in the line, everything like that. The ambulance came and, you know, they checked her out and everything like that. They didn't take her to the hospital, but she, they wouldn't let her drive home. We had to, some, They had to call her mother to come and pick her up. Now, mind you, this, this girl, she was like in her early 20s. She was like maybe 21, 22. She wasn't overweight. She didn't look like she was, you know, unhealthy. She was like a healthy, pretty healthy girl. But what I noticed was, is she was dehydrated. That's why she passed out, because she was dehydrated. I can tell when someone, you know what I'm saying, it was from standing, she, been in the line for a long time and then you, you don't really drink too much water you haven't really drunk anything probably didn't really eat anything so she was definitely dehydrated we got some liquids in her and stuff like that and she was fine after a while but that was just before I had to go to my doctor's appointment okay so after that's all said and done and you know I left the DMV um, I headed to my doctor's appointment, okay? Now, before this, I had done an experiment over the weekend. Um, you know, Christmas was on Wednesday and Thursday. Um, Thursday was the last day 
that I said I was going to eat meat. I said I was going to do no meat for four days until my doctor's appointment and still do my diet, which is a green smoothie for breakfast and a green smoothie for lunch and then a sensible dinner, but I didn't have any meat. I had just veggies and potatoes all week. I mean, all, all weekend from, um, from Friday, because Thursday night was the last time I had meat. I had turkey and uh, it was around 7.30. That was the last time I ate meat. So that whole entire weekend, plus I did my regular workouts. I worked out all three days um, and I wanted to see if I, was lose, if I could lose any weight or anything like that and how much weight that I would lose. Now, at the time, before I started, my weight was 198. So, uh, so when I went to the doctor on, you know, right after the DMV that day, um, and as soon as they brought me back and everything, my weight, I was at 195. So, I actually did lose three pounds, a pound a day. So that was the experiment that I did, and I went to the doctor and everything, got my checkup, and everything was 100%. No medication still. And I'm healthier than ever, still. So that was my day. Um, it was a hectic day, it was a hectic day, I swear. It was a hectic day, and I couldn't believe that that happened at the DMV with the girl. Um, I did, I did a few videos before on dehydration and the type of waters you, you need to drink and how much water you need to drink and how important it is to drink water because a lot of people are not drinking water these days. They're not drinking water. And that can be very detrimental to your health. So, um, but yeah, that's what, that was my story and, um, I just can't believe that that happened. All in one day, you know, it's just like, it was a very hectic day. I was up early, we had some errands to run, and then I had to go to DMV on two days before New Year's, which you know was horrible. The DMV is horrible. Everybody's in there trying to get their IDs before the, you know, before the New Year. So uh, that was horrible, but it was also horrible, that girl, you know what I'm saying, passing out like that, and, Basically, nobody aided to help. Nobody came to her aid but me and a man behind the desk. Nobody came to that. Nobody came to her aid. That's what was shocking to me. And so, yeah, 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 yeah. So, other than, if you like story time, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you want to hear some more stories because I got some doozies for you. And, uh, also, follow me on my other social media platforms on Facebook, on Instagram, and Twitter at fit underscore warrior underscore over 40. All right? Now, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the future.